Here's how the CHAP process works. First, the client system issues a login request to the server. The server returns a challenge. Now, the challenge is the user ID. Again, remember, this is the number that matches the common username we remember to log into the system. Now, it matches that user ID with a random number and passes it back to the client. The client hashes that challenge. In other words, it encrypts it in a method that is meant to be very strong and non-reversible, and it uses a secret that the server would also know, typically, and in this case, the user's password. The client also hashes the challenge with the secret. In other words, the server, since it has a copy of the user's password, performs the same process and compares the results of the client's hash, which it has sent to the server, with its own. The client is authenticated if both hashed or encrypted results are equal. Now, why is this important? Well, keep in mind that what we really want to avoid is sending the password, even in an encrypted form, across the network, where potentially a hostile attacker could pick it up off of the wire, decrypt it through a brute force attack, and then take that password to gain unauthorized access to our system. This method essentially proves that the user knows their password without actually passing it across the network. Very, very clever.